Welcome to the lecture series of Mechanics of Solids. In this lecture, we are going to learn about moment of a force. Outline of the session. In this session, we are going to learn about first moment of a force, second magnitude of moment, third direction of moment, and finally, we'll solve example on moment. So let us start with moment of a force. So here in this figure we can see a part of beam. Here a load is applied on a beam at x distance of this support. Now let us try to understand what will be the effect of this load. Due to this load, this beam try to rotate about this point. Due to this force, there will be turning effect on this beam about this point. So this tendency of force to rotate any body about any given point or axis is called moment of a force. So now let us define it. So moment of a force may be defined as the tendency of force to rotate the body about any point or axis. This moment of force is denoted by capital M. This moment of a force is a vector quantity. To completely describe the moment of force, we need the direction and magnitude of moment of force. The magnitude of moment of force is the product of force and perpendicular distance of line of force from the point or axis about which moment is required. So here to find the magnitude we have to take the product of force and perpendicular distance. This perpendicular distance we have to taken from the line of action of force and about the point to which or about the axis to which we require to work out the moment. So here we can see magnitude of moment can be obtained by force into perpendicular distance. This distance we have to work out between two points. First is line of action of force. So it is this point. And second is the point or axis about which moment is to be work out. So between the two point distance is required, it is x and magnitude is p. So it is p into x. Now let us discuss about the direction. So to understand the direction of moment here, let us see these two figures. In this figure, Due to this force P, this beam will try to bend or rotate in this direction, which we can say clockwise direction. But in this figure, we can see that due to this force P, the beam will deflect or it will rotate in this direction. So this beam will bend like this, means in anti-clockwise direction clockwise moment or it may be so clockwise moment like this or it may be anti-clockwise moment like this. To describe the moment we can write moment is equal to force into perpendicular distance x in clockwise direction and here we can write moment is equal to force into distance x and it is in anti-clockwise direction. Let us try to derive the unit of moment. So here we can see the unit of force is Newton or kilonewton, and unit of distance is meter or millimeter. So the unit of moment it will be kilonewton into meter or newton into mm. 
so these are the unit of moment now we want to see the field example of moment so first example is to tie the nut by means of spanner that is the example of moment second is to open or close the door here we apply the moment to open or close the door so these are the field example of moment so now let us do some example of moment of force in beam so this is the first problem given to us two forces are there and we want to work out moment of these two forces about point p we know moment is equal to force into perpendicular distance distance we have to work out between line of action of force and the point where we are working out the moment so moment about point p let us first work this force 40 kN so magnitude of this force is 40 and distance now distance between line of action of force means from this point to the point about which we are working out moment that is from p so this distance is 2 plus the moment of this force 20 kN so magnitude of force that is 20 and the distance we have to work out between line of action of 20 kN force from the point where we work out moment so this distance is 4 so it will be 80 plus 40 so our answer is 120 kilonewton into meter and we can see this both force are working in clockwise direction so it is clockwise moment so this is the second problem given to us now let us work out moment about point Q. So first the moment about this point will act in clockwise direction, will take with positive sign. Magnitude of force is 10, so here I will write 10 and the distance between line of action of force and Q that is given 2 meter, so into 2. Now 20 kN will apply moment in anti-clockwise direction so it is to be considered as negative moment the force is 20 and the distance between line of action of 20 from the point where we work out moment it is q so this distance is 2 plus 2 that is 4 so 20 into 4 and this moment is again in clockwise direction due to 10 it is plus so the magnitude of force is 10 and the distance of this 10 to the point where we work out moment is 2 plus 2 plus 3. So that is 7. So it will be 20 minus 80 plus 70. So it is 10 kN into meter positive sign shows it is clockwise moment so here we want to work out moment about a point and moment about b both point so first let us work out moment about point a so that is equal to we know that is moment is equal to force into distance so force acting here udl this is rate of udl 20 kN per meter right so per meter length of beam the loading is 20 kN so for 5 meter total load will be 20 into 5 so the total force that is 20 into 5 this is force component so this is force component into we have to multiply with distance so we have to consider this UDL is supposed to act at its centroid means at a middle point so line of action of 20 kN per meter UDL is this point so it is acting in this direction this is the line of action of force and we are working moment about point A so distance between this two point that is half of total span so that is 2.5 meter this is distance component so 
it will be we can calculate is 20 into 5 that is 100 into 2.5 so it will be 250 kilonewton into meter and it is working in clockwise direction now we want to working out moment about point b so it is again total force 20 into 5 and the distance is this from line of action of force to point b so it is 2.5 but it is in anti clockwise direction so we will keep minus sign so the moment is minus 250 kilonewton into meter or we can say 250 kilonewton into meter in anti clockwise direction so this way we can work out moment of force in beam thank you for watching this video if you have any doubt or query please write in the comment box i will be very happy to help you thank you thank you very much